afternoon to you. Welcome to our Facebook Live. I'm your girl Carolina Carls. So today to go to Givenchy Gardens and uh, of course, all of you know, Theresa May, Prime Minister from the UK is in the country and part of the agenda that she's supposed to discuss today are, um, okay, the bilateral agreements that are she's supposed to discuss with our president uh, is the cooperation when it comes to recovery and repatriation of criminals when it comes to their proceedings. Guys, uh, you know that um, once we made that deal with Switzerland, the Swiss accounts, uh, for the, for example, those guys who had, oh my God, for example, those guys uh, who had like accounts abroad, were able, we were able to recover some of those money from, especially from the anglo listing you remember? So those are part of the agreement that she's gonna discuss. So she'll also discuss issues like, foreign policy, trade and investment, tourism and military support. And you all know this is the first visit a British Prime Minister has made in the last 30 years. So Niko Hapa Jivanji and I want to find out from these guys who happen to be discussing politics most of the time on what they think about all this. I'll also need to know guys from you on what would you say to the DPP, Haji of course, on how he's handling corruption issues in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Between China, US and UK, who do you like to invest more in Kenya? And of course, fuel prices won't be increased at least for the next two years. What do you think about it? Were you ready by the way to demonstrate a see your story? So, hi guys. Hi. Um, so, can I start with, who can I start with? You. You. you Okay. Hi, I'm Caro Carolina. What's your name? Hamisi. Hamisi. So Hamisi, we are live on Pulse Live Kenya. Yeah. So uh, I'd like to find out from you, uh, since Theresa May, the Prime Minister from the UK, is already in the country, uh, what would you like her to actually accomplish, especially when it comes to the bilateral trade agreements with Kenya? <coughs> you... <laughs> You, you about to raise your engagement, you are, you, because I tell you bilateral trade. Mm -hmm. What kind of trade? Because I told you, I'm going to be a businessman. And to judge you, what kind of businessman I'm going to be now. For example, uh, from the US, um, from the US, yeah. uh, President Uru Kenyatta, I was able to have at least two companies investing 24 billion yeah, worth of right. projects. Yeah, what of projects when it comes to energy and food security and of course kuna the 380 billion six lane Mombasa Nairobi yes yeah. so from that okay let's talk about it may happen to already we know yeah Trump na Uhuru Kenyatta what do you think about that trade agreement it's good because it uh, trimmed down the influx of uh, the China guys mm -hmm. yeah okay. Since so it about balance it, it. Balance yeah it. So now, between UK, US, and China, Ungepena Ani will invest more into our country, considering that we'll be owing them money. The UK. The UK. Where is the UK? UK, you know, when they give us something, they monitor it. But China, they don't monitor it. At Avilina Tumika, they don't follow. So that's how, why you see the loan we get from China, or most of it, in it goes, just goes to waste. Yeah. Right, okay. uh, the other question, um, if you met DPP Haji right now, what will you tell him, especially now when it comes to the way he's handling corruption issues in Kenya? He should come clean. Who, DPP Haji? Huh? Oh, the, the Haji. The Haji should be firm. But not ile theoretic here to now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like today, yeah, yeah. Like today, yeah, yeah. Like today, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. Another question. Uh, s since we already know that fuel prices won't be increased, because I'm going to at least in my life for the next two years, when I feel like about your story? Well, I'm going to mm. 
wanatuchezea because hiyo hiyo kuweka hiyo break kidogo doesn't mean hiyo itakuwa at a stop no sisi tunataka ile kitu solution ya itakuwa for common mwananchi because hii wametuwekea tu just kutu study vile watu wanaendelea lakini hiyo lazima watu watairudisha eh there's no way out uh, lakini wataiweka ala must inge demonstrate hiyo time like for example uh, kama feel prices inge increase wa would you have demonstrated for sure i uh, would yeah why would you have demonstrated how is it affecting you personally no by demonstrating is uh, when these guys will know that i'm also aggrieved and that's how i can uh, express myself mm. how is it affecting you personally personally the, the life will be not that, that that bearable for everybody common mwananchi even plus them what a common mwananchi even plus them ah yeah. asante acha nani ka kuna mtu mwingine ataongea kuta <laughs> Why are you shy about it? Eh, pardon? All right. Ngependa kuongea. Mimi ndo nakuuliza. Kwa sababu naweza jitambulisha mimi nitoka Karo. Wewe unaitwa nani? Mimi naitwa Robert. Robert. Robert kwa live Pulse Live Kenya sasa hii on our Facebook page. So ile ya kwanza ni kuwa nauliza between UK, US and China, who do you like to hold at least most investments in Kenya considering that you'll be owing them? Eh uh, can you come up again? Ungependa between US, UK and China. You know they are giving us money, yes, mm. that needs to be refunded later on. Mm. Yes. Mm. It's like a loan. Mm. So who do you like to invest more in our country? Uh, I would prefer US, US and UK than China. Uh, because China their investments here for example uh, if you look at the Chinese investments in Kenya right now for example in the hospitality industry like the hotels you will find that even the cooks they, they bring chinese cooks even cleaners they are chinese everybody so they come with their own people so they do not benefit us so much but if you look at the uk and the us investments they may benefit us in terms of employment and so on yeah like so far uh, the the bilateral trade agreement between uh, the US president Trump and of course Uhuru Kenyatta mm. where he, where they're giving us like two, they're giving us 380 billion yes. which will be used to build the Mombasa to Nairobi expressway and of course mm. there are two companies that have agreed to invest in Kenya like 24 billion mm. uh, to go to energy and food security do you think that's enough No that's not enough mm -hmm. uh, I think we need more and uh, you know there is an imbalance of trade between Kenya and the US mm -hmm. that imbalance of trade should be should should be mitigated we need uh, the the imbalance the, the imbalance in trade is in favor of US so we need to 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 bridge that gap of imbalance so that uh, well, so that uh, the, you know they we ex we import a lot of from from them but they export they import a little from us we need to create that to to solve that imbalance yes now talking of which uh, do you think the big four agendas the new hurricane they are now achievable like znakas that were achieved before time yake yeah the the big four agenda by president uhuru muigai kenyatta is a very good idea coming at the right time i think i think he, he wasted his time in, in in the last five years 2013 to 2017 i wish you would have come with, the, with this idea earlier but it's a very good idea it's very achievable uh, if he creates the right if there is the the political will and the right environment the right environment is that he, uh, corruption must be fought so that those agendas can be achieved. Yes. Now, speaking of corruption, what will you say to DPP Haji as uh, the way he's handling corrupt people in Kenya at the moment? Yeah, I would like to congratulate DPP Haji for for the way he's, he's approaching these corrupt elements in our society. Uh, it's very encouraging, and I would like to. I would like to encourage him to proceed that way, but uh, I'll be very satisfied if he goes for the 33%. Yeah. What do you mean 33%? 33%? Thirty-three percent. 
See, when I talk about that 3%, you know what I mean. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Oh, so, 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 as, as you're taking a break. Uh, so let, let me join these guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we have guys over here who were willing to talk to us. So who do we start with? Okay. <laughs> so guys, feel free to interact with us. So let me find someone I can talk to. So apa kuna fanga na bunge. Um, okay. Habari yenu? Oh, amerudi. So ningependa kuuliza, nianze na nani? Ningependa kuuliza swali. Niulize. Ah, yeah. So let me start. Yeah? No, I don't want to ask like generally. I want to find out individually because I have one mic. Yes. So the first question, uh, first of all, I'm Carolina. What's your name? Uh, I'm Peter Wire. Peter Wire. So we are live now on Pulse Live Kenya. Okay. Oh, and I request your mom. So since you know Theresa May is in the country, mm. yes, uh, between UK, US, and of course China, who do you like to hold most investments in Kenya and why? Between uh, UK, US and China. now I'll uh, prefer that we hold most businesses with the US. Mm -hmm. Yeah, US at least when they give you this investment, when you invest, when they invest in your country, when they give you aid, they try to find out how you are using these resources. Mm -hmm. And like China will give you resources which the government or the leaders can decide mm -hmm. to misuse. There's no accountability. With the US, there's accountability for every penny that they dish out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I, I prefer us working with the US. And not UK. UK, they have really messed up big time since the colonial period. Mm -hmm. We see that most of our interests have not been catered for mm -hmm. since we started working with the UK. Since independence, we are still in a pathetic state. Mm -hmm. If they were really for us, if they were investment were really going to assist us, mm -hmm. I firmly believe right now Kenya will be quite ahead. Let us change, let us have the US to us come into our, to give us aid. Let us work with the US. Exactly. Okay. Now let me go to fuel prices. You know they won't be increased at least for the next two years. Do you think that's a strategic move by the MPs? What do you think about it? There. Fuel prices has that was has increased at least for the next two years. You know that. So do you think it's a tra strategic move by the MPs? Ama, you are okay with it? Now we don't want any levy. In fact, it's not a strategic move by the MPs. It is the people's power. They fear the repercussion that the masses can do. Yeah, they have been forced to give in to the pressure of the masses, of the people. Because the way things were going, that fuel levy was as if you were inciting something into Kenyans. It was a threat also to the handshake. It could destabilize the peace we are having right now. Yeah, so it's not even a strategic move. It is us, the people of Kenya, Walipo Shuru, who has forced them to come down and do away with the levy. Yes. So if they were increased, how will it have affected you individually? Yeah, it is uh, it is quite, 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 that, that is self-explanatory. The moment you increase the fuel price, almost everything goes up. The fares, the prices of the commodities, yeah. So technically, the life, the, how do you call it, the life expenditure goes up. And look at our income, it's quite too low. Most of us in Kenya are not employed. Most of these most of these people are jobless. So the moment you increase the life, the life expenditure, where do how do you want that to survive? Me as an individual, I know it, it, was, it was going to affect me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the other question will be, um, are you comfortable with the way DPP Haji is handling corrupt people or rather corrupt we corrupt leaders in Kenya? Now the way DPP is whatever DPP is doing is commendable. It's extremely commendable. But we'd like to urge him to stop going in circles. We have people who are well known. People who are well known to be corrupt. Mm? People who have been mentioned in NYS. Yeah? Why can't he go for these people, these big fishes? Is it, is it because they have a connection with the state house or maybe they are connected to powerful people? We know the stories of Waiguru and the NYS scandal. We know the Kabura issue. Why doesn't, he go, why doesn't he go to those people? Why, why can't he revive their cases? Yeah. So at the moment you can say he's, he's doing a commendable job, 
but he should try to pull up his socks. Yes. Okay. And the way Deputy Chief Justice was kind of released, do you think it's a fight against NASA and Jubilee, Ama? Now, I don't think there's any political motive there between NASA or Jubilee, because right now we have this government, let us call it technically government of handshake. So there's nothing that these people are worrying about. Yeah. Unless if they have their only personal issues, their personal grudges, as the allies that they would like to settle. Yes. Uh, can I ask you a last question? No problem. <laughs> okay, my very, very last question. Oh my God. I wanted to get it from the, from the audience, yes. but now it's not loading quicker. But anyway, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, can I talk probably to someone else? No problem, no problem. Uh, yeah. uh, let me come to you. You guys are so shy like that. No, they are very simple. Eh? I talk to that guy. <laughs> Everyone has chosen you. I'm Carolina. What's your name? Um, I'm Chris. Chris? Yeah. Chris, I think you. Is he hiding his, his face? Uh, no, I, I don't need to hide. Um, I'm, 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 I'm a public figure. I don't need to hide. Uh -huh. Yeah, so. Yeah. You mean you're a public figure? No. Uh, I mean, uh, we are in a public venue, aren't we? Yeah, so I'm a public. I, we are in public, and I think that's why I also you were told to come and question me. Awesome. Yes, please. Yeah. So let me start. Are you happy that Theresa May is actually in the country and actually the first visit paid by a prime minister in 30 years? Uh, by a prime minister in 30 years? Uh, what is it up to? I mean, uh, <laughs> does it help anyone? You know, she's just on a visit, and, uh, you know, basically it's there strategic interests that they fight for. The British are not here for Kenyan interests. They are here for British interests. He's not a, he's not a British, he's, he's not a Kenyan Prime Minister, he's a British Prime Minister. So she's here for, for interests and you know also looking at the, 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 the balance of um, bargaining and uh, trade and stuff like that. Strategic interests. Uh, they will always tip towards in favor of, of, of Britain, so they cannot fee, fee, uh, be in favor of Kenya. And uh, because we have very poor bargaining abilities, uh, poor structures of uh, governance, poor, we are, we are poor almost everywhere. So, I mean, that's why I'm telling you that uh, her visit is non-significant non, 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 non to me. And um, it, it's, it's just a window dressing. She's here for window dressing after she's seen our wildlife here. She can fly back to Whitehall, Downing Street, number 10, yeah? She can go back to her, her residence in number 10, Downing Street. Okay, let me, let me just enlighten you. Part of the issues that uh, Theresa May is supposed to be discussing, uh, things like foreign policy, trade and investment, tourism and military support. And you know, uh, when our president was in the U.S., uh, he was able at least to... Oh, your president, to yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. President. Oh my God. Your president. You can see it. Yeah. All right. Yes. Our president. Your president. Yes, that's good. Uhuru Kenyatta. Yes. We're at least able, at least, to get two companies who are investing 24 b, 24 billion to our country, and of course, we'll be having a 380 billion six lane, uh, like a highway, from Mombasa to Nairobi. So, don't you think that he tried? Who tried? Kenyatta in terms of settling these bilateral trade agreements? There's, there, there's a, we don't need a person to fly to America to go and deal with matters of bilateral trade. I mean, we have an American embassy here. If you want to transact matters of trade and business, you don't need to fly using taxpayers' money to America to go and talk about the obvious. I mean, this road has been here. The benchmarking has been done for many years. Uh, so you don't need to fly to America to go and uh, talk about bilateral trade. Two, uh, the other issue you talked about, we talked about how many billions, what, what billions did you talk about? Uh, two companies are willing to invest uh, so 24 two billion. Only, two, and yes, tw yeah, two companies are willing to, to invest 24 billion, mm -hmm. but into energy and uh, <laughs> other things. And we have the 380 billion yeah. uh, construction that's supposed to take place later on. Uh, they, they haven't first of all told us, how much money was raised from the um, eurobond sell the recent eurobond sell so we want to know exactly how much money was raised and then after we've realized uh, the amount that has been raised we can now talk about because that is actually auctioning a country uh, every other time there are other other means of raising um, cash cash rather than using uh, the aspect of selling the eurobonds then apart from that um, the question of mentioning oh, companies, companies, I mean, which companies are these? Uh, when we talk about uh, companies, companies that are interested to trade in, in your country, 
will always fly to your country. People have interest. You don't need to fly to the United States of America. Now, in short, what I'm trying to say is this, that all that is just a smoke screen. There is no money. There is no company. You will be told those things. People sign. There are a lot of papers have been signed in this country. We've had the Vision 2030. It has now become Vision 3020. And everything is now in, in, in chaos. There is nothing going on. I mean, Kenyans are all over the place. No investment for five years. Two people said they're going to jumpstart the country's economy. There has been unemployment like it has never been seen before since this country lost independence in 1963. We have seen the, the, the worst form of corruption ever seen anywhere, recorded anywhere in the annals of African politics. Now, I mean, someone taxing in plants, jumping from, hopping from one plant to another, telling us you're going to look for investors. Give us a break. We want we want to see change in this country. And so the question of Americans coming to bring us money here, creating six land, where is the six land going to pass? First of all, if I could ask that, perhaps you have some, 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 some answer to that. Where will you pass the six land highway? Why don't you take that road to Turkana where there are no roads? Why should this six land pass on the same highway where we have another highway? Why can't you open the other upper part of Kenya? It's, 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 it's vacant. It's, it's a wild west, no order, no security. People are not being helped on the other side. You're telling us you're putting up highways here where there are many other highways. I mean, there are other roads here. Who are you serving around, around this area? So we, people are mad. Kenyans are not going to sit down with people to play them lullabies and, 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 sing, them, and sing them songs here to praise them. We, Kenyans, are, Kenyans have woken up. We are not going to sit down and, and keep praising people. Those days of hero worshipping uh, ancient chiefs and, and, and kings, those days are long gone. Yes, please. Now, speaking of steel investment, yes. uh, between UK, US, and of course China, who will you want to own the most investments in Kenya? Because we'll be, it's like a loan to us at the end of the day. So who would you like to like, take in a loan from? Germany. Uh, no, at the moment you have UK, US, and China. <laughs> I mean, we've had the Americans here. We've had the we have the Americans here. We even saw an ambassador getting mangled in our politics. We have a British ambassador ambassadors here, who there, there is another one called Christian Turner. He told us that not, let us not rush very fast. Kenya should move slowly. Is our hunger and poverty moving slowly? So we don't. And then there, there, these Chinese are all over the place, digging our country all over the place. How can you come and start digging all over the place? Can we go to China and start digging over, <laughs> over that place? You cannot do that. So please. Okay, for you, you are seen as digging and not construction. There is nothing. They're digging all over the place, creating plastic roads uh, that break, that d get damaged over overnight, without drainages, without. Uh, I mean, it's just it's just China business here. You know the China eggs? Yeah, it looks like an egg, but it's a stone. There's nothing there. <laughs> Uh, let's go to corruption. Yeah. Are you comfortable with the way the DPP Haji is handling corrupt leaders? Who vetted that DPP in the first place? Who vetted DPP? He's incorruptible. Why, 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 why are they chasing around Mwilu? We saw very well the other day they talked about, uh, they talked about punishing. The, 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 the regime fella said after the nullification of that election, they said that they are going to deal with the judiciary. Is this part of the dealing of the judiciary that promised? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is just, they, they are window shopping around here, fooling, fooling the people. We are too smart for them. If you're going to look for the big fish, we know who are the most corrupt people since we lost independence in 1963 in this country. We know the families that have been robbing this country mm -hmm. since 1963. So you cannot go around looking for some people pretending to, you are window shopping all over the place, looking for whom to... Put down and, and claim that this one is so corrupt, this one is this degree of corruption and stuff like that. Who are they? Have they investigated all these fellas? And by the way, what, wait, 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 oh, there's nothing. This, we, 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 are, we are tired of these. These are clowns. Okay, let's go to Ipsos. Um, do you believe the Ipsos views? Uh, but corrupt leaders? Ipsos is not like you. You've come here, you've got our views. Have you ever, if you ask this gentleman here, have they ever seen Ipsos here? Where does Ipsos get these figures? Ipsos told us the other day that Uhuru had I don't know how many figures before they rigged the elections. Yet Raila Molodinga was, was leading. 
we've we've seen that when people were boycotted the elections, we saw how many people turned out to vote. So we know very well that those are their voodoo math. That is their voodoo math. They always make their own figures, talk about things. I mean, we know the most corrupt people in this country. We know they gave a list. We know the most corrupt. We wanted to see them and see them in black and white. We want to see a very clear line of the most corrupt people as the, the, li the list comes down. And then these are the fellas that are, that are being mentioned here. These are just uh, small fish. They're small fish. And by the way, if you took them to court, you might not even prove a case against them. They are too smart. They know how to steal, these fellas. This, 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 this country here it has been ransacked. They are mugging this country left, right and center. They are smart. This is a country of thugs. <laughs> this guy can really, really talk. <laughs> anyway, my very last question. Uh, are you comfortable with the way the MPs at least pushed the rise of fuel prices to the next two years? Why are they pushing? Why was it there in the first place? Because the point is this. And who are those MPs? Those that were brought in by algorithms? The, 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 the Supreme Court said very clearly the, the election was, was not free, fair and credible. That is why we had to... And you cannot tell me that the presidential election was the only one that passed through the machines. They told these fellas to open the servers, the IBC servers. Fellas are locked in that tall building there. They don't want to open the IBC servers. We want to know who won the election of the presidency. Now, you tell me that these fellas, these fellas are not MPs. Who told you these are fellas? The MPs are this one, the Bunga, the Mwanainchi. Those fellas were brought in by algorithms. We know how they got in there. So what we are trying to say is this. We don't want their monkey business. We are saying this, all the taxes that have been levied on the Kenyan people, we, the Kenyans are backbreaking. By the way, they have told us that they are going to push it for another two years, so which means it will still come. It's something they have, it's just like you getting hold of uh, uh, some chicken, you want to slaughter it for a visitor, and you say, no, you'll stay in this, you'll stay in this, uh, in this, in this ba basket for two hours. You're not, I mean, we're not going to, s to slaughter you now, but still, it will first the the slaughter, the slaughter knife. So, I mean, that, that's what is happening here. This is a banana republic. Uh, this is a banana republic, and please, you members of the media, help us to, to highlight this. We, these are the problems. You cannot have a country with such rising unemployment of both youth and the aged. We, uh, I mean, in other countries like uh, Norway, Sweden, people are being got from retirement. The old are being got from retirement to, to work because there, are, there, is, there is a surplus uh, job opportunities. Now, here... Even the youth themselves don't have jobs. Where will the aged, if this aged who are being promised they'll become tomorrow's leaders, are still here on these stones? When do you expect these young people to come and, 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 and become future leaders? I mean, we've, we've, we've been really playing around with Kenyan minds. And now Kenyans have woken up, and it's good you've come here today. Go send that message. And I believe that this is message sent, message delivered. We are saying that we don't want the monkey business that has been going on. We are tired of these shenanigans. We want to see real work going forward. And if they can't play ball, get out of the field. There are better Kenyans with better brains, better energy, very energetic like you yourselves here. You can go, we can do the work that, that these fellas have failed to do. Not hopping from one plane to another, you globe, trot, globe trotting, looking for alms here and there, looking for photo ops with, with foreign presidents, paying for those photo ops. We know what they do abroad. America is not in heaven. It's not on mass. It's here. We know what they're doing. Everything they do, we get real-time in information from the United States. They pay to see these foreign presidents. On taxpayers' money, there are no medicines in hospitals. These people here don't have jobs. You take our Kenyan money to the United States. What are you going to do with our money? Kenyans are mad. And if we don't get that change, we shall create it for ourselves. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much. So, maybe I can... <laughs> thank you. Uh, so... <laughs> Too bad. I sent it enough. Okay. So let me go to the other one, the other bunga one I Where? No, it's live. You can still check it. It's on our Facebook live. A part like Kenya. Part like Kenya. Yes. Alright. Yeah. Oh. So I've been told to feel free to walk in and out of this. Katoroka. 
Pardon, I need to pulse live Kenya to call live. Sahi. Uh, Mimi ni Carolina, unaitwa nani? Patrick. 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 Mm. Patrick apena kuuliza current affairs. Mm. Like now, uh, the PM wa UK, Theresa May is already in the country uh, for bilateral trade agreements. Are you feeling like Kenyatta, our president Uhuru Kenyatta will be able to achieve the big four uh, agenda zake? Inategemea siyo kama ataweza kwa sababu kwa vile corruption iko inategemea sio mm, vile kwa sababu corruption ni kubwa sana sasa inategemea kama hawa watu wote ambao wanafungwa wana yuko kotini watafungwa hiyo ndio tunataka hata wakikuja hapa roho pesa hiyo pesa bado tena itaibiwa na itaibiwa mm. uh, okay uh, president huru kenyata ali state clearly that he wants corruption to be his legacy vinya ta deal nayo so since i'm assuming it's already like part of his legacy the way he's going to deal with it don't you feel at least reassured and plus are you comfortable the way DPP Haji is handling Dio. corrupt leaders? Sindio, nafua lakini nafua wafungwe. Shide ilioko, wanapeleko, harafu wanapatua kashi binu, wanatoka, na siju kama hiyo pesa watarudisha. Iye wananchi wanataka, wakisha peleko kotini warudisha hiyo pesa kwa sabu, unless wafungi hao watu, lutamini corruption itaisha. Na hiyo pesa yeso irudishwa, niyo tunataka. Mm. Okay. Mm. So bado hauja kuwa satisfied? Apana, iko 50-50, lakini anajaribu. Eh, lakini wacha na si, wasi wasione kama ni, ni, ni mtu wote anaonewa akishiko kama aliiba eh apeleko koti na fungwe that's it yoyote amba ta kama ni kitu ya zamani wanafaa wafungwe mm. Okay. Mm. now my other question between uk us na china ungependa nani wa hold the most investments in kenya considering that it's a loan the kind are giving to us china kwa nini china china vitu yao hata kama sio vile expensive sana mtu wa kawaida ataweza kununua na vitu zao mingi ni mzuri hata kama watu wanasema ni mbaya vitu za UK ni za very expensive mtu wa kawaida haezi China ndio tisi iko fair mm. tunataka China hata kama unasema vitu zao ni counterfeit at least wako sawa mm. yeah. okay the other question will be um, when it comes to fuel prices uh, MPs may postpone the rise of fuel prices at least for the next two years una feel ni strategy ama ni kitu mzuri hapa na hao wanajua hao ndio wanaleta hizo mafuta ndio wana hizo mapeosession zote hii kitu itaenda itaongezwa tu pole pole mpaka hivyo pesa wanajua kwa sababu hii kitu yote wanajua kwa sababu ndio wana petrol station wana wanaosa hizo mafuta wanajua yuko watu wanafanya bado itaenda wananchi wako ina taendea tu kufinyika wanacheza tu wanachezea tu wananchi hakuna kitu wana, wanafanya bado itaendelea kuongezwa pole pole within some miezi tatu itakuwa kwa hiyo pesa okay. mm. my very last question um, ile review ya ipsos unakubaliana nayo hapana kwa kwa sababu wanaonea wengine kila mtu most of the hour at water mp hiyo kitu ina, ina sponsor na wengine kila most of this mp na politician wengi wetu ni wakora what i know kila mtu ambaye parliament alitoa especially especially governors mtu kama waitito kina kidero wala former akina sonko <coughs> hakujua parliament alitoa hizo mali kwa sababu especially mtu kama waitito hawezi katajirika na miaka mbili eh Nataka kwanza especially sisi watu wa Kiambu tunataka mtu kama ashiko kwanza ashiko kwa sababu kaunti yetu imefilisika kwa sababu anaiba na kwanza DPP anafaa shika watu kama hao kwa sababu vitu mingi zote zinapotea kwa sababu kuna kaunti kama Kiambu governor wengi wameiba hizo pesa kwa sababu nataka government ifanye kila kitu i make sure eh ipso ambao kitu walifanya walifanya kitu mzuri lakini kama wengine walionea wengine most of especially governors angaliwe sana si wa Europe peke yake Naruto Eh, almost 70% hawa ah, tumechagua MP na senator na governors wengi ni wakora wasungushwe. Mm. Ah, asante sana. Tuko live on Pulse Live Kenya Facebook page unaweza probably angalia ukipata time. Ah, asante. Naitwa Carolina. Ah, thank you. Would you like to talk to us? No, no, no. Ah, okay. Iko na Facebook page. Ah, asante. So let me try find someone else who can probably give us their views. Somebody is in. Amna nafasi? Aya, sawa, haina shida. So let me try this other crowd over here. Habari zenu? Ndio swali. Ni current affairs general. Eh, sawa? Usio gope. Aya, mimi naitwa Carolina, wewe unaitwa nani? Naitwa Fred. On our Facebook page, Pulse Life Kenya. So, lila ngula kwanza ni, you know, uh, UK Prime Minister is in the country, Theresa May, sindio? Ya yeah. sengi pena kuuliza, do you feel like since the other day, uh, our president was with the US president, or a settled deal, do you feel like the big four agenda size is 
karibu kukamilika mm, labda ziza kamilika Pardon? labda ziza kamilika ngana nguvu kidogo labda ziza kamilika mm, jo na jo so ule prime minister ni mtu mkubwa na pia unye prezo yetu anajua kubageni ya Kenya kidogo so mimi naona ni kama inaweza saidia so una feel una feel ina work eh hey, ina work ina work Mm. Now between US, UK na China, ungependa nani wa invest more into our country? Mimi ningependa UK, UK. UK na US. UK. Uh. Oh, sorry, sorry, nadharimu kuasha simu, at least naweza kuona comments. Aya, sorry, hata ndio nimeingia kwa account yetu. Aya, so ungependa UK, wa invest more into our country? UK na US. Mhm. Mm. Ju Please China ime invest kwa ya nchi mingi sana alafu already wame invest already wamepewa kazi na Kenya ya kutengeneza rodi na nini na nini na SGR so tunataka kuna pia vile US inaweza tufanyia na UK uh. Oh finally guys oh my god I'm getting now your comments uh, Robert Ruyot wa unasema Calvin Kitumbo unasema mzee ako na an partial hitting nail on the head that was the guy I was speaking to Jackson Maina na sema you'd like all to invest in Kenya John Ka John Carlos na sema action fast what has he been doing despite be landed uh, Juma Japala una sema um uh, Ogeju na sema that's wisdom Robert Cheruto na sema very intelligent and articulate guy uh, Juma Japala na sema you really feel the pain of community and pain of tomorrow's generation why is that Juma Japala a uh, cal John Carlson na sema action fast what has he been doing despite be landed Noel Hudson I can see you Hadi Rush how are you doing uh Nafuar una sema that's wisdom so sorry sir uh, at least this is the first time ni mazadi sema comments za watu but anyway so we were talking about US and UK and China and you chose UK okay UK and uh, now let me ask you do you feel comfortable with the way DPP Haji is handling corrupt leaders una feel ako na hiyo freedom vizuri ama ana feel anakuwa pressurized by a certain side na feel at least ana ana do better ana do better uh, si kama wale wa before like like yani yeye ana uoga ku choose anyone na tunaomba endele hivyo hivyo mm, at least Kenya ko better eh yeah. ashikia ma big ma big wote wenye wanakula kula nini eh ningeomba sana aende hivyo hivyo na akipit up gava pia im support kabisa mm -hmm. eh. now let's go to ipsos outcome una believe na hiyo list walikuja nayo of the most corrupt leaders in Kenya hapana ah, si believe nayo mm, ju mimi naona kidogo like awangali kila mtu unaona kusema ati story ya Ruto Waiguru like um to kukula peke yake mtu kama igoro anaweza kukula peke yake unaona kuna watu wengine walikuwa kwa hiyo list ingekuwa poa angeleta kila mtu kila mtu kila mtu eh yeah. tena kenya vile iko watu wanakula kula tu like mimi ningetaka waangalie kila mtu kutoka juu mpaka chini wasichuze ati huyu huyu juu labda ya interest zao ama kuangalia politics za baadaye Ah ah, waangalie kila mtu. Okay. Mm. Ah yeah. some comments zako. Uh, Bruce Oyamo na sema there's nothing Kenya will ever get from the UK and US. It's all about personal interest. It's time we the people of Africa continent must open our eyes for the benefit of our people. All right. Mike unasema you watching from the US. Asante. Kasha Williams Asante sana. Michael Kipsuta you are saying US we sell more of our goods to US than UK and China and China so you choose in the US Edwin Omondo some other guy should be taken to the media he seems to be informed with truth that's you and Mike Mikona some smart kid boy chal akuju yeah my kilisha boy chal boy chal okay now let me ask you if fuel prices were increased kama hazinge hiyo VAT ingi kwa scrap for the next two years inge ku affect aje personally personally msika mimi like mimi nalipa fee kuja town kujitafutia unaona mimi ningetaka singetaka iongeze mafuta je kiongezi wa fuel inaongeza kila kitu eh kila kitu inaongeza fee 
inaongeza production ya vitu ikipunguzwa food itashuka chini job production itashuka as in fuel ndo kila kitu kwa kwa inchi unaona mimi ningeataka please gavi angalia hapo isiongeze sana alafu tena Kenya tuna mafuta yetu eh ningeataka wajua bila ta irefinuku ozie wa Kenya ikiwa bei ya chini mm i asante sana all right so let me try and find who else oh him aya habari yako nzuri mimi ni Karo ni twana ni mimi naitwa Marcus Jeny Marcus Marcus uko live sahi on our facebook page past live kenya so ningependa kuuliza now that uh, PMY UK uh, Teresa May is already in the country na juzi juzi president huru alikuwa anga US aka settle deal na all that na bado atatenda China next do you feel like the big four agendas ziko achievable uh, the big four the, the big four agendas can be achievable because it's only depend on the political goodwill if the president has a goodwill uh, to give us those four agendas and the other politicians are also have, having that goodwill it's achievable kenya we have money and, and we have the, the friends who can invest in this country so if this time round uh, they have that political goodwill then it is achievable that is what i believe Mm. All right. Okay. President Uhuru Kenyatta said that he'd like the way he's dealing with corruption be his legacy. Unamwamini? The, the 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 way the president is dealing with the corruption is something that personally I cannot believe in. Because if poli corruption is about uh, taking people to clear their names, eh? uh, I think it it has reached a point where now we are seeing as if there are people who can afford uh, freedom and the, the the corruption is political it's not something that now we are seeing as if it is uh, uh, genuine because when we see the targets and uh, we see the way uh, they are doing it it's maybe to make us happy and if that is what they want to achieve then we are now happy but what is because they are saying if somebody is corrupt then they are taking uh, they are taking him to the court then unasikia sometimes amepewa bond ya 5 million another day anaendelea na maisha yake ya kawaida so can we take that one seriously because a thief is a thief if he is if they have enough evidence that this person is corrupt there are others who are still holding big offices i saw the the, the, the last cases of this the the, 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 the vice uh, cj they they took him to court and even if you check the process now they they they, they gave they gave uh, the bonds of um, how much about five, 5 5 million then you will realize that that case may end evil then another one ya kidero you see uh, after we have celebrated they they are freed with bonds and they go home a free man so if that is the the way they are going to deal with the corruption then it it says that as long as you have money that you can buy that freedom you are free to, to to do corruptions and that is now what we say that why are they those are side shows to us because we want to see somebody in jail a day that we will see somebody locked in jail then we will say now the president is serious yeah okay now um talking of bilateral trade talks uh, between uk us and uh, china who would you like to hold most investments in kenya and you know at the end of the day that's loan to us it's a loan to us so ungependa ku loan nani it's better i trust the us and the uk because chinese chinese they bring the loan then when they bring the loan they bring the labor when they bring the labor even to the mjengo sector yani they want to yani they wanafuta hizo pesa zao they come they give a loan then they want to take to they want to facilitate everything that even the loan at at nafasi ya employment even in this country wezi pata so i don't think if we can trust those people chinese mimi binafsi hakuna benefit wanatupatia nayo and those loans one day tutafika mahali even we will, the kenya will be auctioned the way i see because loans if they give us money wanafaa kuwatupatia nafasi to take to take pesa na hiyo loan then to rudishie wao wanafuata hizo loan wao wenyewe hapa they want to do the, the dirtiest job added to mjengo now they they render us jobless 
Uh, so I, at least I trust USA and UK because those people will give us money. They will give us that opportunity to use that money. Because in this country we have, every, we have engineers, we have doctors, we have everybody that we need. Only what we, we can uh, urge from them is Nipesa. But Chinese, they give money, they give labor, and they also even come here and uh, pregnant our women. So, if you think mal, you know, Chinese are what you do. Chinese are poor people that even Kenya, we should not depend on them. We should not depend on Chinese. These are loans, ambazo tunapewango hapa na wambia. They will come and, 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 and we will auction this country. We will be slaved in China. So I can trust U US and UK because they have been our friends for a long, long time. And they have even invested in, in this country. Chinese, when we come, we have uh, trouble. When we have problems, eh? they don't assist us. Then they want, uh, they want us to destroy so that they come and, and construct. So me, Chinese, I don't tr trust them. They are very poor people. Very poor. I don't know even why the government are trusting them. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, see you. All right, uh, let's take a break because I'm going to be reading the comments uh, from guys who are watching. Tuto Lama Maki, you're watching from Saudi. Just happy to be here because I feel home. Oh, welcome, Tuto Lama Maki. Akini Amolo, unasema if Uhuru is dealing with corruption, whom has he brought to book? If that's a lady asking that. Collins Chimuti, you're watching from Rongai. Asante sana. Um, Tuto Lama Maki, unasema the first guy was so awesome. He made me feel the pain of a Kenyan. Calvin Kipchumbu unasema congratulations. Kare interview kopoa, the true view of real citizen hizo zingine. Akina Ipsos, uh, we don't see them carrying interviews. Oh, by the way, you said you don't trust the Ipsos. All right. Kale Kadem na kuona, Zabiba na kuona, Mutembe Mugambi unasema, you can't manage your money them yourselves. As in, as Kenyans, you also can't manage the money. So no wonder, it doesn't matter who is investing in us. Ah, uh, yes. So, or him. Okay, so let me finish with him. Just one question and then I come to you. All right. So my very last question to you. Um, are you comfortable? Do you feel that you're okay that the MPs uh, scrapped off the VAT, Ilia Fuel, at least for the next two years? Yeah, it's a relief to us because we were now expecting a lot, a lot. You know, in this country now where we are, I pain to me weke wa adi tuka weke wa msumari wangiongeza yo fuel. I don't know where other people could be because at right now eh, people are struggling even to, to, to afford the, the, those goods that are now available. If they could have gone to now increase the, the transport, increase the price of food, thanks to you. Vijana, this time round now to Liamua that will not now trust any politician. We will now get out and force them eh? because now it has reached there are times that we are trusting other politicians but now we have known that a politician is a politician what matters ni tumbo yake so timefika mali now in this country ikifika mali ya kuguza hizo bida muhimu kama fuel sitting down in a, in a night meetings and kuseme tuna increase na iflani bila ku consult wananchi will now come out and say now Imefika mali now we cannot, we, we must now come out na tujitete. But we never wanted that way because politicians wame tudanganya danganya hapa wengine wana tutetea hivi, ikifika usiku, wanaongea loga moja. So, nini kuwacha hizo taxes na kuwacha hiyo, ni nafu kwetu bado. It's not about two years. Let them not talk about two years. Hizo vitu haifai kuongezwa, haifai. Wacha waongeze vitu zingine. Eh, kuna vitu zingine za maana wakiongeza hata mwananchi wa kawaida hawataona hiyo ni ni pain kama gani eh, bagari si au, au kuna kuna MP wameiba sana hii nchi wanaweza nini waongeze eh, price ya Range Rover waongeze eh, price ya hizo nini V8 hizo makoti kubwa kubwa wanavanga huko waongeze unaona hizo malodging waongeze prices ya malodging unaona au nini tax workers our my MPs are going to be in the bay. This will not affect us. But like in Chakula, Vitu Muimu Kama Izo, Wakiongeza to Konawao. And we'll come out and we'll show them now this time round. Atutaki mchezo. Atutaki mchezo. Hii mambo ya kana ni. Kama ni hiyo ndiyo tukana na walikuwa natuambia. Then wangoje tu. Two years itafika. The IFI kuongezwa. Wachana mambo ya hope at duration. What we Kenyans doesn't want. Izo mambo ya fuel kuongezwa. Tunataka i-reduce
Na kama wako wengi hapo, kama wako wengi hapo, because now wage bill kama ni mingi, we don't see the work of women rep. We are men, we are the people who marry women. So watoe hiyo women rep ishe. Then watoe my MCA, watubaki na magavana, there are ways that they can do things. Hili hiyo wage bill, but hili ya kutuongezia fuel, eh? kuna vitu vingi unaweza toa. Hizo maposition bonoko, hizo watu uongeza usiku wa wachane nazo, tuende tuangalie constitution vili naendelea. Hizo vitu wanaona kama, wanu wanakula mshahara bure, eh? watoke, watupatie nafu. But kuongeza price ya chakula, sababu ya tifuel mutu tumbo yake nataka ya itoshane na nini, we will not allow that. Hiyo ya tuta kubali. Aya, santi sana. Thank you so much. Also, uh, let me read the comment. Uh, Minja Omangi unasema at US Ninini Hadi Rush unasema that's a very nice talk. Mutongori and Juri unasema uwi ati wangeze price ya login. Yes. Akingi amulu unasema muambie kijana awate asira. Ani sawa sawa. That's how I talk. I'm a politician. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ju Uh, Irene Washeki unasema magari waongeze it can't affect us too pia yako affected kefo unasema do you trust Ruto my friend do you trust Ruto when it come to Ruto I have a very different opinion politicians are politicians when it come to now a politician rating another politician there that one we are getting it wrong there was a time that Moi was very bad in this country now today, we are seeing people running to Kabarak, eh, saying that now Mo is a good person. There was a time that even Kibaki was a very bad person, that we came out and took a andamana sana, 2007, and people fought for, for Kibaki. People never wanted Kibaki. But it come now, unaona handshakes na enda kwa Kibaki. So, and legacy ya Kibaki, sahi, people are talking about, at least when we compare the, 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 the current regime and the regime that was there in Kibaki, people are saying, hey, at least ya kibaki ilikuwa nzuri. So when a politician is rating another politician, let them rate themselves there at, 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 at nini, at uh, apo maali panyama. But when it comes to kumul monainchi, what we are looking for a politician is, can, can a politician give us those promises that, that he was giving when he, he was being elected? Hizo nitonangalia. When we now start rating Ruto to be corrupt, to be bad, no, that one you cannot help me because now a politician is the one who is forcing us to say Ruto is bad. And Ruto is also an, a politician. So politics, I've never seen a politics is, which is done in churches where people are now unasema siasa ni kanisa. Whoever does his politics well, na kushinda mwingine, let him be. Now whatever system anybody will use bora tu isiumizi mwananchi wa kawaida akuwe president wacha huyu jamaa akuwe because na, there are some hopes to shakuwa nayo in this country where the same same people wanasema huyu mbaya kesho unaona mtu ni another scenario was here in nini uhuru kinyata's uh, re-election it was bad and other people died mupendo dutapendo is still alive to us when we talk about musando died and this uhuru kinyata was very very bad person lakini sasa hii juzi ulisikia ni my brother it tonic a change. Sasa Uru is a very good person. Now you cannot go anywhere. Useme Uru ni mbaya. So politicians should not breastfeed us with those nonsense. Sisi tunikili tunataka kwao, eh, ni delivery, service delivery. Iyo tu peke yake. Lakini kuniambia huu nzuri, huu ni mbaya. Now Ruto is bad, is corrupt because politicians are feeding us that way. When it comes to 2022, utasikia man shakes. My brother Ruto is a good person legacy. You know, we, we sh Kenyans should not be brought to that angle. You are confused. Our watu, poli political class are political class. They are con men, they are bad, they are good. Iyo yote ni class yao. Sisi wanainchi tusifidiwe na hizo ujinga. Kile tunawomba. If there is anything good that Ruto can do in this country, let him do. Is there anything good that Raila Odinga can do in this country, let him do. Uru Kinyata the same, Kibaki and the rest. So atutaki kufidiwa na hizo fitina, hizo zote ni fitina kwangu mimi, najua hiyo. There is nobody corrupt, there is nobody good, all politicians are that way. Asante sana, asante sana. Uh, Kalvin Kachumu nasema, congrats man, tell these Kenyans facts politicians are friend. Dennis Ombu nasema, by the way, Ruto can't be trusted. Hmm, you've heard. Kate Nduto nasema, good boy child. John Mashara nasema, Kenyans, themsel Kenyans themselves are the best investors. 
Evans Orango nasema ni kweli waongezee praise ya Lojin. Julie Julia nasema this is a super open minded guy. Said mchachoz nasema China ingekuwa the best uh, people you like to owe or rather to invest more into the country. Bruce Oyamu nasema the only way President Uhuru the son of Kenyatta can succeed in fighting corruption is to look deep inside the police force, the judiciary, the court and their judges. Aya, but so guys let me take the last person. Because we have another show coming up at 3 p.m. Uh, what's popping? So you're going to be my last person. I'm Carolina. What's your name? Uh, Audi Audi. Audi Audi? Yes. So now we are live on Pulse Live Kenya Facebook page. And of course, we have live viewers. So in case you can see the comments and the comments, you can see the comments. So I'm going to go You know Theresa May is in the country, uh, UK Prime Minister. And the other, the other day, Uhuru Kenyatta was in the U.S. and all that. So I'd like to ask, between U.K., U.S. and, of course, China, who would you want to invest more into the country? Ama, in other words, who would you like to owe money? Sabu yoni loan. Yes, uh, I think uh, the issue of uh, foreign investment is a, is a big challenge. I think uh, looking at, the, at our budget, it's high time that Kenyans to inv to, uh, we invest in our own economy. Because if you go to other places, we have Kenyans, we have people stealing money from this economy and taking them to Singapore, taking them to other countries. It is high time, even, even if those money was stolen, they should not go and put them in, in, in the safe events. Huh? They need to invest them here. Because what happens right now, we, are, we, are, we have bad debt, like for China. So China can beat our people, they can do anything, and there is nothing we can do. Uh, this issue of, of, of someone finding, um, giving you money, uh, it kills uh, independence. Uh, we have, uh, and there is uh, another issue that is also bring, it, it brings is, uh, is the issue of ne neocolonialism. Because when someone controls your, your resources, he can easily control you. Look at Kenya, even the Kenyan land. Look at Laikipia, it's not owned by Kenyans. In fact, Kenyans, when you talk of foreign investment, we are reducing Kenyans as workers. We are, not, uh, we are not improving this economy so that the Kenyan people can grow. Right now, Kenyans, we are the, the net consumers. We consume everything from China. And right now, we want to consume more services from, from, from Europe and America. So it is a big challenge. The issue of foreign investment, I think, if we have a, a good system, it needs to be relooked at. Because the only way you can, you can, um, you can build local resilience is to encourage uh, local investment. That is the only way. Otherwise, if we, we will, it, it will be like a bubble. They will build. Uh, it is what happened in the in the Nairobi Stock Exchange. People coming, bringing money. Then the stock exchange is, appears to be like uh, big. Then during election, they take back their money. It goes down. So it is somehow a cartel. The issue of foreign investment. Mm -mm. That is not way, the way to build a to be to create a sustainable economy. Yeah. Yes. Now let's go to corruption. Uh, President Huru Kenyatta said he wants to leave a very nice legacy of having dealt with corruption the right way. And we have DPP Haji who is actually dealing with corrupt leaders. Are you comfortable with that? Do you feel that um, Uhuru Kenyatta will be able to achieve? I think the issue of Uhuru Kenyatta fighting corruption is a joke. It's a big joke and a big lie and a white lie. Number one, we need to understand uh, the genesis of corruption in this country. It started uh, during independence and after independence. When the, when, when the Britain, when, when the Britain left this country, they, they, took, um, they left the African land, they left the white settlers' land, and what happened, the successive government, which was Kenyatta, took all this land for himself. So the first corruption, if Uhuru wants to, to show us that he's serious, that he's one, he wants to fight corruption, he needs to re-implement the, TRG, the T, TGRC report. And after that, he needs to return all... all he need, because corruption, in fact, corruption, the simplest way to define corruption is, is, is just selfishness. Where you, when you take what, is, what belongs to others, you don't want to share. That is, the, that is now what happens, that is, that is the, the, the in thing in corruption. You don't want to share the, the, the art of selfishness. You want to accumulate everything. So when we cannot say Uhuru Kenyatta is fighting corruption when he himself uh, went to Uganda, uh, made a deal with Museveni that is going to, to take Brookside to Uganda. When he himself, he has monopolized, he has used 
is is president the office of the president to 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 monopolize the the the, 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 the industry especially the milk industry so i don't think whether Uru, because the, the the biggest corruption in a country is uh, is stealing an election so if Uru wants to fight corruption he needs to tell us he needs to push the audit report for election we need to know what really happened then we will say now we have a system which is accountable as we speak right now we have two president Uru was sworn in Raila was sworn in but you see at the end of the day a handshake was done and all that is forgotten so why do you still want to go back to all those issues when you are looking for a way to go forward we are, in fact, for us, we have not moved forward because what is happening, it is a culture which has been entrenched that, that even, even our votes that doesn't count. There, there, there are a few people who sit in a room. It's like a v, VAR, um, the, the one for football, VAR. Eh? They decide who becomes the president. Even if you vote, even if you vote how, it doesn't count. So, so, so and, it, and the same, the same, the same matrix or the same algorithm is the same one which was used in, in, uh, in Zimbabwe. It is w what happens in, uh, in African countries. So the issue, of, uh, the issue of transparency and accountability is very key, and we are not seeing it. Look at, uh, look at corruption. The big, one, of, one of the major ones was the Anwai Guru scandal. It happened during Uru's legacy. We are not seeing anything being done. There was Kavura's affidavit. Three years down the line, nothing has happened. Waiguru, was, Waiguru she's clean, and, 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 and now they want us to believe that he wants... In fact, Haji should stop the drama. Haji should stop the drama. Because look at Haji. Yeah? Look at the way, the way he has ignored um, all these scandals. And, and, and maybe he's maybe is re, is, is responding to Uru's uh, call to refix the judiciary. So I think what Aji is doing to, 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 to our deputy president in judiciary is uncalled for. And, and we, we, we feel that Uru is just revisiting because of, because of, the, of what the lady did. Yeah, and it is quite unfortunate. Last question to you. Um, since fuel prices have been postponed, uh, the increase of it has been postponed for the next two years. Yes. How do you feel about it, and what will you say to those MPs? I think um, I think th that is a debate that we should not even engage in because one, uh, it is not a favor. Currently, we pay we, we currently we pay taxes on fuel. And, um, and, 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 and the issue of, um, of, of, of these people trying to, trying to, in fact, it is a way of, of making Kenyans not to be productive. Because they want to kill, they, wa they want to sustain Kenyans to be continue to, 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 they want Kenyans to continue being poor. That is why they, they, want, they are implementing such a thing. Because currently, there are other ways of raising taxes. If you stop this corruption, I tell you, we have enough resources to take care of, of the whole country. But a lot of the money ends up into people's pocket and nobody accounts for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Santi Sana. Okay, let me read your comments. Julie Julia Sama, Haji is a no taking bribe guy. Spare him. <laughs> Ahmed, you were saying Akosawa Rasta, but I'll be Peter Water, Peter Bro. Akinyo Molo, as a young man, you're very right and smart. Rocky Sos, you know, Rasta, Menena Ukweli. Polika Pungule, Unasema Audi Pewa Mbili kwa Biliangu. Before UK went to the US, I think Huru Kenyatta went to the US, every Kenyan alikuwa na daiwa 107k. Now that he's back, how much will we add to our debt? That's from Polycap. And Juma Japali wasema Ras, unaona mbali sana. Mutongore Njuri wasema Shua, we need to know how much we have. And lastly, Moses Muiriru na sema Rasta ako tu poa. Zakwambi na sema smart guy, we can't move forward with unsolved issues. Handshake is nonsense in Kenya. Bruce Oyama na sema, okay, in me. So Masamo Ilomondi na sema, everyone in Huru government is corrupt. And Asante ni sana. So guys. Yeah, yes, I only, I, I only have one thing to say. What about is maybe, maybe I think it's, it's, a, it's a call that we need to, I think it's high time that Kenyans must stop this mediocrity and worshipping the leaders, the political leaders. Because it is high time we build a new narrative. It is high time we have political parties with, with an ideology, with agenda. Because what we are seeing, the Nas and Jubilee side, 
these are these are bunch of guys who are who are just jealous. NASA was just they were just jealous that Jubilee was stealing alone. Now that they are together, you hear you hear some of them were mekula 10k yeah about they even take they even take they even go as little as taking 10k. I think in the near future we'll we will make a pay bill number so that such a peace when you want to because that culture yeah, we'll give we will make a pay bill number and then Kenyans will contribute so that we can we can give them that money if if that is what they want but i tell kenyans let us uh, have uh, uh, political parties with ideology nasa and jubilee have failed us they have one ideology of enriching themselves and being at the, being at the top of the pyramid there is no any ideology because look at uh, look at nasa they were fighting corruption today they are in the same government they are quiet on corruption and the corruption is still happening. So they are a let down and it's high time we, we, we delink ourselves from them and focus on building, um, uh, on building a community where, uh, building a community with an ideology, all building and strengthening parties with ideology. Otherwise, uh, the only thing which will help us right now, because these people, they have lots of resources, they have lots of money, they bribe, they even bribe Kenyans. If in, in fact, Kenyans should take responsibility because it is us who elect these leaders after taking um, after taking bribes. So it is high time. One, we need to stop taking bribes like uh, handouts. Number two, what needs to happen, and this is the only way. It is through a revolution that we can save this country. It is through a revolution that, like a good example, is when Safaricom came into the market. They have uh, they have brought a revolution in the banking industry. So a revolution is possible here in Kenya, and it is only the, it is only a revolution that will disrupt these cartels and bring a new and a, a, a new a new system. And lastly, as we move, move forward, another thing that can help Kenyans is 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 when we have federal governments. That is a conversation that we can start any other day. The importance of federal. Look at Australia. Australia, they have states. Yeah? And each state wakuna police zao. Here in Kenya, if we can have a federal system whereby each state has its own police, this this issue of someone stealing votes at the at the central, uh, uh, using the structure within the central government, and then and then sending policemen to give to given areas in this country to keep, maim and kill people, it will end. And I think the only way to end police brutality. One of them is, is having a federal system and each region to have their police force. We are, in fact, for us, we want it. And it's a, it is also high time we, con we consider the Switzerland system of governance, whereby we have a council, uh, a, a council that manages the country, not, not president, but a council. And then, like, we, like in Kenya, we can have eight members. So guys, Ahmed Nasema, and yet ten cases are here. Heri wa ipe sufuria sasa kama bad season tuamke. Mutongona njura sema he atiwa mifuka mpaka kupatiwa 10k. Juliet tunasema that's a good point enriching themselves. Uh, Juma James tunasema this is how politicians talk when they're campaigning but after election things change. Robert Sheik tunasema increasing tax but no increase in worker salary. Talk about that brother Rasta. Jamoko nasema Audi akwa too smart sana. Anyway guys thank you so much for all those who've been watching. I really appreciate. We'll be going live at exactly 3pm. For the was popping show, make sure you check it out. I'm um, your girl Carolina Carls. Thank you.